GAMP, which stands for Good Automated Manufacturing Practice, is a set of guidelines developed by the International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineering ISPE, to ensure the effective validation and compliance of automated systems in the pharmaceutical and healthcare industries. The latest version of these guidelines is GAMP5. Let's delve into the key aspects of GAMP guidelines in a more elaborate manner. 1. Scope and Principles GAMP guidelines provide a risk-based approach to the validation and control of automated systems, including both hardware and software components. The fundamental principles of GAMP encompass an emphasis on user requirements, scientific evidence, and a lifecycle approach. 2. Validation Lifecycle GAMP 5 follows a lifecycle model known as the V model. This model maps out the validation activities and deliverables, illustrating the relationship between each stage of the System Development Lifecycle SDLC, and the corresponding validation activities. The V-model consists of phases that include User Requirement Specification ORS, Functional Specification FS, Design Specification DS, Installation Qualification IQ, Operational Qualification OQ, and Performance Qualification PQ. 3. Risk Management GAMP 5 highlights the importance of risk management throughout the validation process. It promotes the identification, assessment, and mitigation of risks associated with automated systems. This approach helps allocate validation efforts based on risk levels, focusing more on critical aspects that could impact product quality, patient safety, and data integrity. 4. Categories of Software GAMP 5 classifies software used in automated systems into five categories, ranging from Category 1, Standard Off-the-Shelf Software, to Category 5, Fully Customized Software. The guidelines provide recommendations for the validation approach and effort required based on the category of the software. 5. Supplier and Vendor Controls. GAMP 5 emphasizes the need for a robust supplier and vendor management process. It provides guidelines for evaluating and selecting suppliers, vendors, conducting audits, and establishing contractual agreements that ensure the quality, compliance, and maintenance of automated systems throughout their lifecycle. 6. Documentation. Comprehensive documentation is a key element of GAMP guidelines. It includes the development of validation plans, user requirement specifications, functional and design specifications, test protocols, validation reports, and change control documentation. GAMP 5 emphasizes the importance of maintaining accurate, complete, and traceable records to demonstrate compliance. 7. Data Integrity Data integrity is a critical aspect of GAMP guidelines, ensuring the accuracy, completeness, consistency, and reliability of data generated and stored by automated systems. GAMP 5 provides recommendations for managing data integrity risks, including the implementation of appropriate controls, data backup and recovery mechanisms, and audit trails. 8. Change Control GAMP 5 emphasizes the need for a well-defined change control process to manage changes to automated systems. This process ensures that any modifications, upgrades, or patches to the system are properly assessed, documented, tested, and validated before implementation, to maintain the validated state and compliance with regulatory requirements. 9. Training and Competence GAMP 5 highlights the importance of training and competence for personnel involved in the validation and operation of automated systems. It recommends the establishment of training programs to ensure that individuals possess the necessary knowledge and skills to effectively carry out their roles. 10. System Retirement GAMP 5 provides guidance on the retirement and decommissioning of automated systems. This includes the proper disposal of hardware and the archiving or transfer of data to ensure compliance with data retention requirements. It's important to note that GAMP guidelines are widely recognized and adopted in the pharmaceutical and healthcare industries, but they are not limited to these sectors. They can be applied to other regulated industries where the use of automated systems requires validation and compliance with quality and regulatory standards. Please like, share and subscribe.